Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back again with me, Selviani Putri In our lovely podcast So, today we will talk about Daily activity of student college uh, During this pandemic So, I have a special guest here She's my best friend I can say she's my precious friend She's my best friend uh, Since I was a kid And also she's my classmate right now So, here she is, Ilma Anissa. Hi. Hi, Ilma. How are you? I'm great, and you? I'm great, also. So, Ilma, uh, before we start our into the main topic of this podcast, we will play the music. Okay. Okay. So, Ilma, as we know that COVID nineteen is really suck. I mean, like. Before that, we can't do anything what we want, but yes. now we cannot do it because COVID nineteen rises again. Yes. Right? So what do you think about it? Uh, I agree with you, and I also totally agree with uh, some people out there say if this pandemic we feel like bored, and because of this pandemic, it was a change almost all of my life and also your life too, and other people life living so far. Yeah. But yeah, I also agree that COVID nineteen has a positive side, right? Yes. So, what it it is happened to you? Uh, to be honest, uh, this is uh, happened to me right mm-hmm. now in my daily life. Really? Can yeah. you tell us what your what your positive side about during this pandemic in your life? Oh, of course, yes. Like uh, if I used to go to campus to study, yeah, and now I I'm just like uh, going to my room and open my laptop and yeah. study via virtual. And yeah. I think it's uh, quite fun. Yeah, I feel you. But in positive positive side, we don't need to feel scared about being late, right? Exactly. If in the best after college, I'm going to cafe to get some coffee or get to have fun with my friends. And now after college, I'm just going to decide to do my homework. <laughs> okay, so. If this is about your daily activity as a student college, what about your daily life? Did you, did you find uh, something new or uh, something like that? Of course, yes. Uh, as we know, in this pandemic, we had a lot of time, right? Yeah. Even at night, I used to go to all of my friends, mm-hmm. just have uh, just have to have dinner or going to cinema. And now I'm just gonna spend my time with my family at home. Mm. And we also share our story that we never talked before. Mm. And it was a very influential time in my life. Yeah, I totally agree. So we have a more precious time with our family, right? Yeah. Mm. And this is my favorite part during this pandemic. I found my New hobbies is a learn several new language. Oh, really? What kind of the language li- did you learn? Uh, actually, I study three language. Oh my god! Which is uh, English, of course, yeah. and Japan, and also Korea. Oh my god! How can? How do you learn it? Did you learn it every day or something? Uh, I learn by myself, mm-hmm. like watching the TV show and also reading books and also the most helping me to learn this uh, language is uh, from YouTube mm, so interesting so yeah. what about the time? Uh, as we know mm-hmm. during this pandemic we can go out so I decided to make a schedule like in Saturday I learn English and Japan and Sunday I'm just learn Korean like that Okay guys, it's really inspired us, especially for me. I would like to learn it. I would like to learn another language just like you because oh my god, it's look like interesting for me. Okay, so Ilma, can you give us example how to uh, how to introduce ourselves in three language? Uh, I'm shy, but I'll try it. Okay, first we will start with English in English. Hello, my name is Ilma Nisa. I'm 21 years old, I'm from Pontianak and now I study in Ikipegi Pontianak majoring in English education. Okay, it's so fluently. Now, the second, how you introduce yourself in Japan? Uh, konnichiwa, watashi no namae wa Ilma Anissa desu. Watashi wa Pontianak kara kemista. Watashi wa 21 sai desu. Shoshite watashi wa selfie ino ishu desu. Wow, okay, the last one in Korean. 
Uh, 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 루마 아니사입니다. 저는 펀테넷 음. 조싱입니다. 나는 21 살이다. 나는 책 읽는 것을 정말 좋아합니다. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's so interesting. Thank you. Okay, so before we close our sections today, so Ilma, do you have some some tips or something to say? Uh, okay, one thing that I want to say to you guys is that do something what's make you happy or found something that's make you happy. Because uh, if we continue to learn, this situation is not can change anything. But if we try to change what we do, and I'm sure you will find your happiness and enjoy your time during this pandemic. Okay, thank you, Ilma. So guys, remember that find what makes you happy and enjoy during this time. And I would like to say, say thank you so much for Ilma and Isa for coming to our podcast tonight. And yes. so Ilma, I have a little gift for you. Oh my God! Oh, it's for you. Yeah, so this is the last section of our podcast. So don't forget to stay healthy, guys, and stay cheerful. And don't forget to pray that things will be get better soon. So, and the last one, don't forget to health protocol. Thank you so much for your nice attention for our podcast tonight. See you in the next podcast. And how to say goodbye in Korean? Let me say 안녕 together. 안녕, okay. One, two, three. Annyeong!